Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Baseball Replay Journal. Um, here for you this evening, we have um, another 1908 game, uh, this time between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the St. Louis Cardinals from uh, St. Louis. And uh, without any further ado, we're just going to get right at it. Steels Becker, who's leading off. The absence of Honus Wagner gets a base hit, and then uh, promptly steals second base as uh, Fred Clark is uh, meandering his way up there to bat. One strike now on Clark with Becker on at second. Clark gets a hold of one, and let's see how far this baby goes. And that is a triple for Fred Clark to a deep center field, just like that one nothing Pirates. This Pirates team is good, even without uh, you know Honus Wagner. And uh, this is a six here. You can't really see it. See, it's a six. And uh, we'll see if Leach can get a home run. He has a little bit of a chance, and he does. That's a home run for Tommy Leach. And uh, that is actually the third home run we've had so far this season. There was one home run earlier for a member of Brooklyn. So two days uh, of 1908, just about complete, and three home runs so far in the um, in all of major leagues. Uh, Abaticho hits a little uh, ground ball to the uh, first baseman for the first out, or for the to the pitcher, my apologies, for the first out. Charlie Starr now up. And uh, this, uh, like I said, it's kind of an odd lineup. Um, I don't remember the exact reason why Honus Wagner was not in the lineup for uh, Pittsburgh at the beginning of the season. This sounds like something for some research for the blog, and we'll get to it eventually. Um, there was a single there for Wilson, or I'm sorry, for Swasina, and then Ch uh, Chief Wilson comes up and strikes out, and that's the third out. Three runs for the Pirates in the top of the first inning, and up comes St. Louis, and it's Red Murray now. And he goes double column, and uh, he gets a single, and then steals second um, as Albert Shaw is up there. And that is a five. There's a little single to center. Mur uh, Murray is thrown out at home. Shaw is able to go to second on the throw. Konechi up now, Ed Konechi. And uh, there's a little pop fly two away as that one's popped up to short. And a strikeout now to Joe Delhanty. And up comes George Gibson next. Apologies for knocking the camera. And there's a little uh, ground ball to third base. One away. And now the pitcher, Vic Willis, is up for the Pirates. And he flies out to right field just like that. Beals Becker is up again. And he grounds over to the pitcher. Bottom of the second inning. And we have Billy Gilbert up again. And there's a little uh, pop fly short stop. That's one away. Patsy O'Rourke. And uh, there's a strike on O'Rourke. You love these little... Uh, these little uh, results. Um, O'Rourke ends up getting on uh, to first on an air uh, after a swinging bunt. That's an air on Gibson. I know you probably wonder a little bit about, well, why is this, you know, a strike? Why is that a ball? It all has to do with the way that the formula works. Um, it all has to do with um, some of these um, hit results, um, uh, sort of uh, calculations as uh, Byrne strikes out and there's two away. Um, it's all sort of the magic of the formula and the magic of the cards, but there's a method to the madness, and that's what gets everything to work. Bill Ludwig hits a little ground ball to third base, nothing doing there in the bottom of the second inning. Fred Clark now up at the top of the third. Ground ball to short, and there's one away, and now Tommy Leach. And uh, Leach hits it over to shortstop again. O'Rourke this time is unable to make the play, and there's a run on first base, and Tommy Leach. Abaticio now and uh, he hits a little ground ball to um, second base. There's a flip to short. Can't complete the double play, despite the fact that Abaticcio is a slow runner. Charlie Starr now comes up, two away. He has a little uh, ball back to the pitcher, and that is that. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Johnny Lush now. Double for the pitcher, double for Lush. Um, and he stands there at second base. Red Murray coming up, 3 nothing Pirates. And Lush is a fast runner. We're going to swing away, though, with Murray. Murray um, hits a uh, base hit there to a left field. Lush being a fast runner is important because he's able to score on that one. And then as uh, Shaw comes up, once again, Murray is able to um, steal a second base. See, if you click on him, you can make all sorts of uh, things here. You can tell him, oh, well, we want to restrict his movement here. We want to restrict his movement there. I don't want to restrict his movement at all. All I wanted to see was uh, can we get any sort of information about um, what he's done um, so far. And now when we do this, it will show us what he did yesterday in his last game, but it won't show us um, how many bases he has stolen today. Unfortunately, that's another thing where I'd probably want to uh, write to Cyrus and say, hey, is there some way? 
way we can change this probably not because you have to make sure it's part of the replay um, first off there's a single by Shaw over second base over to center field and uh, Murray is able to score and uh, Shaw now is the runner on first base three to two now Pirates with uh, nobody out Ed Kenechi is up and uh, he gets one of those magic little E's that's a fly ball to a left field runner holds one out now and uh delahanty hits a little ground ball to third base and that's the second out here comes billy gilbert he's got a a, a card looks like a pitcher's card gilbert walks and here comes patsy o'rourke now runners on first and second willis uh, having a few problems here and he walks o'rourke bobby byrne now bases loaded two outs bottom of the third inning this game uh, becoming close already Byrne. I was going to say he gets a little ground ball to a second, but we got to check for the possible air, and he gets the air roll. That is not to second. That goes to third base, and uh, that scores one run, um, and uh, Leach is able to recover. Uh, not Leach, actually, but Clark, rather, in left field is able to recover and gets the second man out because uh, Gilbert, who is who it is, is has an S, a, a very poor runner, and uh, just like that, the game is tied, top of the fourth inning. Three runs there for the Cardinals in that inning. Very, very poor play. Sloppy play by the Pirates. And uh, Harry Smasina starts us off with a fly ball out the left field. Bill has got it for one away. And that is a 62. Had to check. And uh, that's a little uh, ground ball to first base for the second out. George Gibson now. And uh, that's a single, and uh, Gibson tries to steal second, ill-advised, for a runner with an S. And uh, that is the third out in the top of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth inning now, Ludwig hits that uh, magic gold uh, 65 for the 35. And uh, we check to see for an error, and there is no error. And so it's a pop fly up to the... Uh, 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 third baseman Johnny Lush now and he gets another base hit Lush having a pretty good game and here comes Murray and we're going to hit and run and Lush is fast and there's a strikeout throw him out and uh, Murray has struck out and Lush is out stealing uh, catcher to uh, shortstop and now Vic Willis is up here top of the fifth inning still a 3-3 game and it's an exciting one of that um, and uh, we go fishing for the E again little pop fly to second base and that is one away little becker now there's a little ground ball to first place and two are out and uh, clark gets the base hit but it's thrown out stealing um as uh, leach um stands there at the plate so leach will be up in the uh, top of the six but now it's the bottom of the fifth inning three three the score shaw strikes out that's one away ed kanechi up now kanechi gets the base hit single to right field we're um, not going to hit and run with him because he's slow. I would love to. Probably should think about bunting. But uh, Willis um, Willis is a little bit uh, wild here, and he ends up walking Delhanty, and that brings up Billy Gilbert. And now it is bunt o'clock with a score of 3-3. Three to three. I wasn't bunting so much before as the score was not so close. There is a bunt. Gilbert gets it down, <clears throat> but Willis fills his position well, throws the ball over to Leach. Gets the uh, runner there at third base. Now there's two outs for Patsy O'Rourke. No way to punt now with two outs. Oops. My apologies. That was uh, the incorrect thing. I should have written 34. And there's a little fly ball to center field, and that does that. Tommy Leach now. Tommy Leach now starting off the inning, and he walks. Lush giving up the walk. This is only the first wash walk of the game for Lush. Abaticio now, and there's a uh, base hit, sends uh, Tommy Leach to first, and Abaticio, another slow runner, makes the mistake of trying to steal, and uh, nothing doing there. Uh, we're bringing the infield in, as uh, Star is going to try to bunt now, one away, with Leach on the third. And uh, there's a little bunt to third base, and Leach, or I'm sorry, uh, Byrne has uh, no choice but to go to first with it, and that scores the run, and is four to three Pirates now top of the sixth inning. And this one here is a 52. This is a 27. Another ground ball to third base, and that does it. Bottom of the sixth inning coming up now. And uh, Bobby Byrne, after that unfortunate play where he wasn't able to get the runner, comes up to lead off the inning and hits a double just like that. Brings up Ludwig, the catcher, and we're bunting. You know we're bunting with Ludwig, who um, six plate appearances this year is hitting 200. I'm assuming he has a walk in there somewhere. 
of course, as is always the case, always feels like it's like this. Once you've decided you're going to bunt with the weak hitting uh, uh, player, he hits, he gets a base hit. What would have been a base hit scoring the run? Instead, it's a little bunt to uh, the uh, first baseman, and uh, Burn moves up to uh, third base. He's a slow runner. We're not going to take too many chances with him. And of course, Lush is actually hitting pretty well today, isn't he? Um, hitting 1,000 so far this season, two for two. Lush gets the base hit, and uh, a little bit greedy there. Third hit of the game for Lush. He tries to go to second. He's thrown out. Very good play by Clark. Clark to star on the uh, put out, and it's 4-4 four, four now as Red Murray comes back up, and I'm bouncing this camera all over the place. Fly ball to left field, and that does it. <clears throat> Chief Wilson now up for the Pirates. Little ground ball to uh, third base, and that's the first out. And here comes George Gibson now. And he grounds it over to uh, Lush. It's two away, just like that. And here comes Willis here, top of the seventh inning. And uh, we go fishing for possible air, and we get it. And there is an error on the first baseman. So two away now, a uh, error on uh, Konechi. That is the second error for the Cardinals, fourth of the ball game overall. Not a very well-fielded game. And uh, Beals Becker gets the base hit. And unfortunately, unfortunately for the runner Willis uh, Shaw, so you see the second rating here. The first rating is his fielding wrecking rating for outfielders. The second one is the arm rating. Um, Shaw has a good arm in center field, and he's able to throw the runner out. And so it stays 4-4. Four to four. And uh, here we go into the bottom of the seventh inning. I told you Skeetersoft's NP3 is a good game. If you haven't played this game before, you really ought to. little fly ball to left field. That's one away for a... Uh, at uh, Shaw, one away here um, for the Cardinals, bottom of the seventh inning. Here is uh, Vic Willis now. There's a little ground ball to third base. That's the second out. And Joe Delahanty now is up. And there's a ground ball to short. And just like that, we're at the top of the eighth inning. A little ground ball to a short stop. That's the first out. And here's Tommy Leach. Tommy Leach gets the base hit, uh, but there's a little C again, and he's thrown out stealing. You might be frustrated by that. You think there's so many guys thrown out stealing, but you'll see at the end of this replay when we look at those stats that those little C's and little S's really do make a big difference, and we like him a lot because it's realistic. Abatishio now gets the uh, walk, and boy, that stolen base attempt starts to loom a little bit large now, doesn't it? Charlie Starr hits a fly ball to center field, and that's the end of that. And here's Billy Gilbert now, bottom of the eighth inning. Tight game. Gilbert gets the double, hits that six. <laughs> One of the few hits... He's got in his card. You know that with Patsy O'Rourke up there, we are going to bunt Billy Gilbert on over and hope we get a good result. There's the 30. That's a little bunt over to third base. Leach with no way to uh, get Gilbert a third has to go to first base. Bobby Byrne now, and there are two chances here for the Cardinals to go ahead in this ballgame. And Byrne hits a fly ball to right field, and that's just deep enough. Wilson cannot throw. Um, the uh, runner Gilbert out, and that scores that precious run 5-4 now Cardinals. And um, up is uh, Ludwig, and this is a brand new ball game, isn't it? Ludwig hits a fly ball to left field, but the damage has been done. 5-4 to four Cardinals, top of the ninth inning. Johnny Lush trying to get that complete game. And uh, Swasina gets us into the happy little E land. But it ends up doing nothing. He hits a little pop fly up to Gilbert. That's the first out. Here's Chief Wilson now. And uh, he hits a little uh, ground ball on over there to Burn, And that's the second out. And uh, George Gibson. And we're going to look up and down this bench. See if we have somebody who can hit a little bit better than Gibson. Because it is do or die time. Warren Gill. And we're going to do this with Warren Gill. And uh, Warren Gill... It's a ground ball to the first baseman. Kinechi's on it. He runs the bag, and he makes the play. And there you have it, and there is your ball game. Just like that, under 15 minutes, the Cardinals come back to win in this one, 5-4. to four. This was an exciting game. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to hit that like button, subscribe for more. As I always say, we're going to have one of these every single day, and we're going to have one of these every day for a long time to come. And uh, leave me a comment below, down below, and let me know what you think. Do you play NP3? Have you tried it before? If not, do you want to try it? Go to the website. Check it out. You can't buy the cards anymore, but you can get this, and you can get these seasons, and it provides you with countless hours of fun. And look at that. I'm recording it. It took me 15 minutes, and I will talk to you later. Take care. See you tomorrow.